Hi everybody, it's Justin from Mean Man Bassing. In this video, I'm going to unbox the new Diablo Regal LT. This is the 2500D XH. Uh, I'm happy to have this. I've never used the Regal before. Uh, I have a couple other Diablo Reels that I like, so I'm, I'm kind of happy about this. This is like the next step up from like the, their very low end uh, models. Um, before I start, I just want to say if you like the video, you find it useful. It really means the world to me if you subscribe to the channel and drop a like. Uh, it really goes a long way. It really helps me out a lot. Like I think more than you, more than you know, it really does help me out. So I really appreciate that. Um, also, this retails for right around sixty dollars. I'm going to leave an Amazon link right below in the description box. You can click that link; it'll bring you right to Amazon. You can purchase it there. And I'll try and leave a link where you'll have several different uh, model sizes to choose from. <clears throat> okay, so let's get into the uh, unboxing. So this is the, the Regal LT 2500DXH. With that, the, the XH means that it's a faster gear ratio, 6.2 to 1. I'm very excited about that because I, when I fish uh, with a spinning reel, two of the main techniques I use are uh, casting topwater which I cast really far and I, I pitch, I pitch, uh, and cast wacky worms and I can be casting them pretty far. And I'm also going to start flipping tubes here this season. Um, so, but, and I'm playing a video behind me in the background and, and I'm just trying to show you like with a lower gear ratio on a spinning reel top throwing top water or just casting out worms, uh, like, like just a regular no weights on it, just a regular wacky worm. Um, that you can, two things can happen. One is that if you're casting into wind, it can really take that lure far. And if that fish strikes right as the lure hits the water, you can have a very long retrieval process. And so like you can see in the video, I'm like reeling forever. I'm like bending my pole, like moving my pole and like walking backwards and trying to keep tension on the line because the fish will run at you. Um, so with a faster gear ratio, that's going to allow me to uh, bring in more line per handle turn, uh, to, which results in a faster retrieval process. So I'm really excited about that. Uh, I, I, I don't have, I have the Revros, I just bought the Revros. Uh, I'm actually planning on using the Revros and the Regal this weekend for the first time. It's the first time I've used a higher gear ratio on a spinning wheel. Uh, so I'm really excited about that. Um, let's get into the unboxing. <clears throat> you got a nice flashy orange box. Dai was always doing something crazy with the colors. I really like it. Not that it matters at all, but I just think it's kind of cool. Uh, on the back, you have uh, it's your, their, their main features. You open it up on your flaps. You have your uh, part numbers and diagram. And in this box, it didn't come with any instructions. So uh, you can find them on Dai was. Uh, That was one page. I don't know what these are. Someone please tell me what these are, these three little donuts. I don't know, they're plastic donuts. I have no idea what they are. Uh, it'd be awesome if you could tell me. Someone please tell me what they are. Uh, uh, so there's nothing in the box. That's it, just those three little donuts. Mysterious donuts are in the box. So, uh, here's, your, here's your reel. It's like a... Uh, it almost looks, actually, I have the Rev Rose right here. It's almost, it's like a little lighter. It's a little, uh, it's a little lighter than the Rev Rose. And the gold is a little, there's not as, the, uh, the spool isn't fully gold as the Rev Rose, because it's the Rev Rose, so. Um, that's your color scheme. Uh, the one thing here, let me tighten up the spool for the handle real quick. The one thing I noticed right as you take it out of the box is a uh, aluminum handle. So what this is, that the aluminum machine handle, machined aluminum handle is supposed to balance the, transfer the balance of force. Uh, more evenly to your gear. 
<clears throat> which uh, results in a more efficient and smoother retrieve. Um, I also like it just because it's tough. Like, I don't feel like I'm going to break it when I step on it. Because I step on it with real bullets on it. I have a nice um, rubber handle grip. <clears throat> and um, so that's, that's the handle. Um, the other thing that I noticed right away was the anti-reverse lock. Uh, what the anti-reverse, it's like... But what it really, I call a back railing switch. And I guess it's like, depending on who you talk to, it can be used for several different things, setting the hook. Like if you have it on, you're not gonna get any back rail on the hook set. But I, what I mainly use this feature for, I keep it on until I set the hook. And then after I set the hook, I switch it so that I can have my reverse. Um, uh, so what, what I use it for it basically replaces the drag system, <coughs> excuse me, the, <coughs> excuse me, the drag system. And I don't like using drag. If I'm using light line, I'll loosen up the drag a bit just so I don't, you know, if I'm using light line and light hooks, so I don't bend my hooks out. Uh, but you know, for the most part, I don't use drag. I use back rails. So when you cast, right, you set your hook. You get two options. You turn your back reel on or you turn your anti-reverse off, depending on how you word it. But now you can move the reel backwards and forwards. And so you can give that fish line. You can feed the line to the fish. Instead of if it's on, right, the fish and your drag is loose, it's going to peel the, peel the line and initiate the drag. Uh, I don't like drag because I feel like it doesn't give you good control uh, when you're trying to retrieve the fish. If you're using a light line, like four or five pound line and a small hook and a smaller rod, like you're gonna, if you're using drag, you're gonna have it on, you're gonna have that drag set real loose. But the problem is, is when the fish peels off, you're not, you're gonna like wind up, but nothing is gonna come on because the drag's so loose. So it's like very little control. I don't like it at all. So I use the back reel a lot. And what I like about the feature is, uh, is that it's right in the middle. <clears throat> the, 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 the reels I have, which aren't Daiwa, the spinning reels I have, which aren't Daiwa, the, the reverse switch, the, the back reel switch is in this corner here. So you have to like, when I set my hook and I go to like, I have to like find the little knob and like switch it on. I can never remember which way is on and which way, uh, like how, like do I need to push it or pull it or what? But when it's right there in the center, you can set your hook and you don't, your hand doesn't have to leave the handle and you can just initiate it, turn it on or off. Uh, so I really love that feature. I really like the back reel. I think you should too. It's a lot of fun with small mount, like it's more bang for your buck really. Cause your fights are pretty, can be pretty strenuous. Instead of taking a break, you're really concentrating. Instead of taking a break, letting the drag take over, you're, you're like really concentrating. Uh, so I love that feature. That feature is what brought me to Daiwa Reels. Um, so let's talk about uh, some, of the, um, some of the features that they're promoting with this. <clears throat> okay, so you have you have 10 ball bearings. It's a 10 ball bearing system. You can have nine for your gear and then one for your roller, which is up here. Um, now, I don't know, generally speaking, the more ball bearings you have, like the better your reel is. Uh, it's just going to allow for a more, for a smoother, more balanced, more efficient retrieval system. Um, with these, with the nine ball bearings, I don't know, I'm just assuming they're regular stainless steel. It's a $60 reel. I don't think they're gonna be that expensive, high quality uh, bearings. I don't see anything about anti-rust or corrosion resistant bearings. So I'm assuming they're just plain stainless steel. Uh, so you probably want to clean them at the end of the season and definitely wash your reel out um, if you use it in salt water. Uh, and, and that, by the way, is like, it's like the real, like the only thing I can really see that makes the 
um, real more valuable. So, cause like the Revros is like one model below, one step below the Regal and it's $20 less. So it's really like the only feature I can find that's taking it up from the very bottom, uh, low end models. Uh, so, so you have, uh, the 10 ball bearing systems, you have ATD, which is automatic tournament drag. And so it's basically like your ATD, what, from what I understand is that it's going to lower the threshold, the amount of pressure, the threshold, the pressure threshold to initiate and activate the drag. And then it's going to keep that, it's, uh, that level like more balanced to keep the drag initiated and active. Like some drags like are, it takes a lot of pressure to peel the drag, initiate the peel of the drag, but then once it's going, it doesn't need much pressure at all. This is like, apparently it's a more balanced, it's a very low threshold to initiate that drag. And then once the drag is initiated, it stays continuous and it's more evenly balanced. And it, all the same amount of pressure is needed to keep that drag activated. From what I understand, uh, I don't use drag that much. So the housing unit, the, the frame, it's what's called a true carbon frame, and it's it's composite. It's plastic. It almost feels like metal, but it's it's composite. It's supposed to reduce weight and size. Um, but you know, it's I mean, it's a sixty dollar reel. Uh, I don't know. I'm not really sure what to expect. It, you know, I don't think anyone expects much more from the $60 reel, but uh, <clears throat> it has now. So it's an air rotor. I believe the rotor. I don't. I believe the rotor is plastic. It's composite. I don't know. It's hard to find these things, but I'm almost positive it's plastic. It's, it's, it's the same thing that the, the housing unit is. It's a, the true carbon frame. <clears throat> but apparently, but apparently uh, it's the, the air rotor, it's called an air rotor. It, uh, the, the way it's constructed is that it, it distributes pressure more evenly throughout the, uh, the rotor so that not one or two particular areas are vulnerable to fatigue and stress. Um, that's like one major aspect of it. And so that, what that's going to, you know, what, what that results in is just a, a smoother retrieval, uh, more efficient retrieval. And the other component is that it's the air rotors 15% lighter than most other, uh, rotors, which is just reduces the weight and gives you a, a better experience fishing. Um, So you have the tough digi gear. That's the main gear. So you have your, you spin your uh, handle, the handle turns and initiates the gear and then the gear winds the rotor and the rotor uh, spools up the line, right? So uh, the digi gear, it's um, apparently, so I'll read it right off the Daiwa webpage, which is the shape and surface of the gear teeth and evil. The construction of gears with extraordinarily smooth running, smallest resistance, and extremely long lifespan. Um, so that's what they're promoting. They're promoting a good gear. And this has an air aluminum spool. I don't know what that means. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've been looking forever to figure out what that feature is. I don't really know. Um, I don't know. I wish I knew. It's kind of frustrating, but I looked everywhere. I can't find the answer for it. Um, but that's what they're, uh, it's aluminum spool. We know that much, right? Um, so that is, that, those are basically all the main features of the Regal. 
I'm really happy to use it. I'm excited to use it. I can't wait to use it. Uh, I'm going to hopefully use it on Sunday. Um, I don't think you'll be sad with that. I, I, if you haven't used Diowa before, I, I love Diowa. I'm starting to like Diowa and Lose. I'm really starting to gravitate towards because their uh, their low end products are are nice. Like they're reliable. They work. I'm probably going to get a few seasons out of these. Uh, so like I'm super happy to have it. Um, stay tuned if you want to see. I'll I'll put a I'll probably put a review up of the the next week or two, just showing how this initially performs on the water. So stay tuned if you want to see that. I hope this helped. I hope you got a good perspective. Um, if you liked the video and you found it helpful, please uh, subscribe and drop a like. Uh, really mean the world to me. And also, don't forget to check the Amazon link if you want to purchase these. I think you. I. 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 I know I'm going to be really happy with this. So, I don't. I'm not doing you wrong here. Um, so, anyways, hope well. Hope you catch a real big bass soon. Thanks for watching.